special tutorial for you today. I'm very excited. Um, I would love for it to turn into a trend, but you know, you know, whatever. Um, so the other day, like for those of you that create and craft, where do you come up with your best ideas? Because for me, it's random. But the other day I was in the shower, I was washing my noodle body and I was like, what could I do next? Like, what could I do next that I haven't like seen yet? Or like, that would be cool. Like, what could I do? And recently my obsession has been wrapping tumblers with vinyl. And I was like, okay, but I already did a V split. Like, what could I do? And this concept just came into my head. And so I, I took it and I ran with it. And the very next day I wrapped a tumbler and like, you know, executed my idea. And then I was like, okay, this is a little bomb or whatever. So then I made templates so that I could get like the perfect symmetrical uh, lines. And I, I'm really excited. I'm not saying this is gonna become a thing, but you know how someone came up with a tangram, someone came up with a Pendleton or whatever it's called, the Pentagon, I don't know. Um, this is a much more simpler design, le less complex, but it's so beautiful. And I would like to call it the diamond tumbler because it has two diamonds. Who's ready? Okay, actually, wow. Um, if you're here, that means you already saw it because I already posted it on my social media. So, okay, all right. Well, without further ado, doo -doo 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 -doo, drum roll. Um, here she is. She's, she's a savage sassy classy moody um you guys i wrapped a tumbler in vinyl okay and then i cut out two perfect diamonds on both sides and this is what i came up with and i think it looks amazing and the more i thought about it i was like okay am i gonna put a decal on this but i was like baby like kim kardashian said when you put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari or a Bentley, no, you wouldn't. So no decal. And I think it's perfect. I love, 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 love it. Okay. So I actually, the one that I had originally, why, why am I trying to grab this without turning around? Hold on. I got it. I got it. Hey. So originally I did this one. This is the one where I was like, I'm gonna hit the ground running with my idea and just freaking make it. This is what I came up with. However, this one I freestyled because I was like, uh, I don't know how this is gonna look. I, I didn't quite know how to execute my idea yet. So I made this, um, but it, you know, the diamond's a little bit bigger, which is fine. If you wanted to make your diamonds a little bit wider, um, you could, and then when you turn it to the side, you would have this really pretty shape right here. I freaking cannot. I can't, guys, stop, stop, stop hiding me up. Stop. I cannot recover from how much I am obsessed with this style. So, um, one moment, guys. Talking shit makes you real thirsty. So, I would like to call it, I would like to call it the diamond tumbler. Yes. Yes, yes, it's the diamond tumbler. Well, you guys, I'm gonna stop yapping because I know that you didn't just hop on to watch me talk. I was just really excited and I thought that this specific design needed a really good introduction because hello, she's not bad. Um, and I also, I have so many things coming up for my YouTube and I wanna just like bleh, vomit it out and tell you guys, but my, I, my channel is gonna be so diverse. Um, and I'm working on a few projects. Ah! 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 Sorry. Okay. I'm working on a few projects, uh, that I have coming up for my YouTube and I just can't wait. I cannot wait. So for those of you who are here, those of you who are supporting me, thank you so much. I read every single comment. Unfortunately, I don't always have time to reply to every comment, but believe I read them all. And the other night I went down this rabbit hole and I went all the way back to some of my first videos and I like read the most recent comments and there was people from like a few days ago that had went back and binged my videos. <sighs> thank you so much. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. I literally like don't even know like how else to express my, my gratitude. Like, thank you so much because this is my dream. Like. 
I love creating, I love tumblers, I love sparkly things, and I love helping others. I love teaching, you know? So thank you for giving me this opportunity and for being so sweet. So I hope that you are okay with this channel having some diversity because honey, buckle up because I got some real cute things coming up. Wow, I've been talking for five minutes and 37 seconds. Watch my subscriptions go down after this. Um, anyway, guys, I love you so much. Please leave a comment, I do read them. And also, um, tell your friends about my channel. If Even if they're not trying to learn, you know, if, even if they're not new, tell them about my channel, let them know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, that would help me out greatly. Um, thank you guys so freaking much. I love you. I love you. I love you. Besitos. Guys, I know my intro was really long and I'm back again. It's just because I forgot to tell you a freaking hilarious story that I promised I would tell you on my YouTube video and I didn't get a chance to. It is super embarrassing, but it is so funny and I don't care because I am who I am. But anyway, so we have um, cameras inside of our house, um, like, you know, pointing at the doors and just, you know, cameras. And there's this one camera in our house, it's pointing at the back door. And so whenever you walk towards the kitchen, you walk right in front of that camera. Um, and so my husband is currently not here. He's on his way back, but he's not here right now. He's training in another state, um, so he's not home. And the other night, it was like 11 o'clock at night. The boys were already asleep. Um, I was on the toilet downstairs. I, you know what? You guys already know I'm ratchet, whatever. I was on the toilet downstairs and I was replying to messages, you know, on my Instagram. And sometimes it's easier for me to send voice messages because it's faster to reply to multiple people. So, I got up from the toilet, like, you know, push the button to start recording. And then I started to pull my, my panties up. It was a thong, you know, but I started to pull them up with one hand. At this point, my pants were around my knees, like my pants were down and I started to pull it up, but the, every, the kids were asleep. I was by myself and I was recording. And so I start walking towards the kitchen, just casually like, anyway, girl, yeah. So if you're getting a lump, um, it's because your turner's not level. And I, the, meanwhile, I'm pulling my underwear up, right? Like fupa out, flat booty out, like un, like unflattering whatever, right? I do that. I finish my voice message, pull my pants up, wash my hands. I did wash my hands. Don't come for me. Um, and then I get a text message from my husband and he was like, honey, don't walk around the house naked. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh no, 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 no. And he never like checks the camera, but it was late at night. So I know he was probably in bed just scrolling through Facebook and he got the notification for the camera and he probably clicked on it and he, that's what he saw. Guys, when my husband texted me that, I died. And so immediately I ran to my phone to pull up the, the, the camera app to watch the footage. Oh my God, you guys. Um, I don't know why he's married to me, so that's number one. Um, number two, do you guys know Gru? from Despicable Me, that's my body, okay? I walked in front of that camera with my phone in my hand recording, my pants around my knees, pulling my panties up, freaking fupa was flapped over my underwear, my, I was hunched over, I wasn't even trying to suck it in, my freaking butt was, looked like a pant, like the most unflattering thing. And I saw it and I sat down and I died inside because I was like, this man is beautiful. He's perfect and he's sweet and he's gonna leave me. <laughs> he would never, you guys, he's really sweet to me. He said, he always says I look like Beyonce. I know it's a lie, but I appreciate him. Um, but anyway, you guys, I laughed so hard and I messaged him and I was like, babe, oh my God, I'm dying right now. And we laughed about it. But if you guys have cameras in your house, be careful. Be careful because you, listen, my husband caught me slipping, okay? So that was super embarrassing, but it was hilarious. And I feel like it's one of those stories that only happens to me, only happens to Myra. So 
I had to tell you guys that ratchet ass story. I'm gonna end this now because now you've probably been watching me talk for 10 minutes and I know you don't need that negativity in your life. So I'm so sorry. I love you so much. You're tired of my voice, but I'm sorry guys. Let's get to work. So I have a sanded prep tumbler. We are going to wrap our vinyl around. A lot of people use, um, a squeegee but I have I like I told you guys in my snakeskin tumbler I'm gonna link it in case you guys want to go back and watch it in more detail but I think it's just easier when I use my sausage fingers I have more control over the bubbles it's easier for me to push out the air I start in the middle and then push out towards uh, the top and the bottom of the tumbler and me personally I used to really 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 struggle with vinyl wraps I hated them and one day I was like, you know what? Let me use my hands instead of a squeegee. And that's what did it for me, you guys. Like, I don't know why. I just feel more in control with my hands. So I just go all the way around. And remember, guys, if you have some bubbles, you can peel back up and push back down and smooth out that those air bubbles. If you only have one or two, you can poke them with a little X-Acto knife or a weeding tool and then just push out the air. It won't be noticeable, okay? So then we are going to very carefully come to where both at both ends of the vinyl meet okay and we're gonna make we're gonna make a slit a cut right where they right where they overlap there's gonna be a little bit of a bump okay and then once we do that we are going to tuck in the in the the vinyl at the top at the rim and we're gonna do that so that we can go back around with our exacto knife and cut it okay so we're going to do that at the top, push out any air bubbles, work them out, push them out, intimidate them, let them know that that's not how you play. And then we're going to go back down to the bottom and I'm just going to cut off the excess with my little scissors. Um, oh my gosh, I have a joke because I just saw those scissors and it made me think of it. <gasps> how, what do you need to cut your pizza? Little scissors. <laughs> get it little caesars like the pizza place but like little caesars get it oh my gosh okay anyway so you are going to fold in you're gonna tuck pull and tuck and fold your vinyl over the bottom of the tumbler okay push it down nice and good and then once we have it pressed down and we feel like it's smooth and all of that we are going to grab our exacto knife and we're gonna cut off um the excess okay you guys um i always i like to finish off the bottom of my tumblers with acrylic paint you'll see me you'll see that at the end of the video so i don't worry about what the bottom looks like okay and i don't worry about what the bottom looks like until the end anyway i'm using the flat end of my exacto knife to just kind of push down any little pointy areas that were stubborn and then with a Sharpie Sharp one, um, with a shank side, eh, just kidding. Oh my gosh, I don't want to go to jail. I've never shanked anyone. Hee <laughs> hee, for legal purposes, that was a joke. And then with the X-Acto knife part, you are going to cut around, remove all of that excess, peel it off, and that is what your bottom should look like, okay? And then we are going to take a moment, move it back up to the rim, and we are gonna take our X-Acto knife and just cut all around the rim, okay? Remove that excess uh, vinyl. Okay, yes, vinyl, thank you. I couldn't think of, I was like, what? This is hard, but literally it's vinyl. Come on, sis. So don't worry about whether or not you're gonna have a good seal because I'm gonna teach you guys um, how to sand at an angle once you have a couple coats of epoxy to create a nice seal at the top, okay? If you have been watching me for a while, you already know my little tech, well, I'm sure it's not my technique, but you already know how I do it. Okay, you guys, so once you do that, I went into design space, I literally just clicked on the little shapes, created two diamonds, measured my cup, and made them the exact measurements to fit my, oh my gosh, that is my air fryer. One second, guys. Hey, a girl's gotta eat, okay? Anyway, you guys, so you are going to cut those diamonds out of vinyl, removable vinyl, and then you are just going to place it on your tumbler, okay? And you're going to do this on both sides. Now, you guys, depending on what shape or tumbler you're going to use, just measure your cup and make those diamonds um, the according size. I will post the measurements. Now, I do want to apologize, you guys. It would not be a Myra Makes It tumbler if I hadn't forgotten to record a part not that I forgot but it wasn't freaking recording so do you see these tumble you see these diamonds that I'm applying I am going to take my exacto knife 
and cut out around the diamond. So I'm basically gonna trace the diamond with my X-Acto knife and cut that exact shape out. I'm so sorry that that part did not record, you guys. Once you cut that out, this is exactly what it should look like, okay? Um, and then I'm doing a little bit of acrylic paint just because I only wanna do one color of glitter. I do not wanna have to do two, okay? Now I am using a um, glitter from Glitterful. It is called Moon Rocks. It is too freaking die for. I cannot even wait for you guys to see it. Um, it's just this beautiful blue and it has like a little hollow like color shift. So once our acrylic paint is done, okay, and you don't have to do acrylic paint if you don't want to, you could spray paint your tumbler and then you don't have to worry about that. Um, or if you have like a metallic glitter, then you don't really need to um, paint it. But I'm using a blue and I really just didn't want to have to do multiple coats. So that's why I painted it gray. Once it dries, just go in with your Mod Podge, Modgy Podgy, Mod Podge, and um, just make sure you have nice, even strokes. You have no lumps, no bumps, no lovely lady lumps. Hey, whatever happened to Fergie? Hmm. Anyway, so then you're just going to sprinkle. Okay, you're going to sprinkle the glitter on the diamond shape, just like you would sprinkle, you know, pepper flakes on a pizza or something like that. I don't know why my examples are always food. This is why I'm thicker than a snicker. And this is why I look like grew from the despicable from despicable me. But you know what, guys, it's okay. It is okay. So I'm just going around making sure that um, I got glitter in every single spot that had wet glue. And then I'm just taking my sausage link, my booger hook, whatever you guys want to call it, and I'm tapping on the glitter. I'm pushing down, pushing. Okay, sorry, I blacked out. Um, I'm just tapping, making it lay as flat as my booty so that when I go in with my epoxy, it's not gonna take a ton of coats of epoxy to cover that, to cover that glitter, okay? Um, so I'm just tapping it, making it lay nice and flat. What am I doing right here? Oh my goodness, I think I was on FaceTime. Guys, I'm so sorry, this is ratchet. Um, and then I just kind of brush off the excess. Again, you guys, I feel really bad that that part where I cut out the diamonds didn't record. I've really got to get a hold on myself and make sure that my video is always recording. Um, but you did not miss much. Literally just trace that diamond outline with your X-Acto knife and cut it out. That's it. Okay, you guys. Um, so I'm so sorry about that. This is so ratchet. Whew, man. Anyway, so now we're going to move on to the backside and we're going to repeat the process. Okay. We're going to spread the Mod Podge and, um, oh my gosh, I was just about to make a really inappropriate joke, but you know what? Well, my YouTube does say that this is not for kids. So you want to spread them. You want to spread the Mod Podge like you would spread those cheeks. Eh? Okay. All right. Please don't report me. Hey, 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 you guys know what you signed up for. Okay. So then you're just going to spread the Mod Podge everywhere. Make sure you have nice, thin, even coats. Anytime you have like th really thick streaks or something like that, it usually shows um, through the glitter. So you always just want to make sure that you have something really smooth. Okay. And then we're just going to apply our glitter to the backside. You can do whatever color you want. Um, you could do any cute idea that you want for this is going to look absolutely amazing. I am so excited to see how many of you recreate the diamond tumbler, how many of you, like what your color combinations are, what your vinyl that you picked out. A lot of people were asking me um, about the vinyl. I am going to link the shop in the description. It is Donkey Vinyl on Etsy. And like I said, the glitter is from Glitterful and it is Moon Rocks. Moon Rocks is the color. Okay. So just tapity tap, tap, tap. And just make it lay flat, okay? And I always kind of go over just to make sure that if I missed a spot, I'll sprinkle more glitter and it'll grab onto that wet, gluey, gooey, gluey, goo, wet glue. Okay, wow, thanks. That was really hard. Um, and then just tap it, guys, to make it look flat. Just brush off the excess. We're gonna let our Mod Podge dry completely. And I always seal my glitter with a uh, polycrylic spray. I get it at Lowe's. Um, a lot of people use Rust-Oleum clear spray. That's fine. You can use whatever sealer you have. I just prefer polycrylic. It's worked really good for me always. So I just stick to what works. You know, my mama always says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right? Okay. I think everybody's mama says that. But anyway, so 
I sealed, I did, I did sealed it twice and then I let it completely dry, okay? And then we went in with our epoxy. I know I'm a little bit ahead of what is happening here, but I just went back in with my brush and filled in a few little spots that I had missed. Um, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial because I could watch people glitter tumblers and watch glitter fall all freaking day. I just love glitter so much. So I hope that this is satisfying for you guys to watch. But anyway, guys, um, I just am really excited to see how many of you make this and how many of you love the idea as much as I did. Um, I just thought it would be so cute like to cut out two diamonds on both sides and to call it the diamond tumbler. So I hope that, you know, it blows up. I hope so. That's my dream. My wish is for this tumbler to blow up and for everybody to do the diamond tumbler. That would make me really happy. It only took one coat of epoxy to completely cover the tumbler, so that was amazing. That's another good reason you want to push down your glitter. After 24 hours, look how glossy, guys. It's so beautiful. I never get over how much epoxy transforms a tumbler or, or Crystalac, if, if Crystalac is what you use. Um, so I'm just cleaning up the rim a little bit. You do not have to do this. I think I've already talked about this in a previous video. I just like to clean up the rim as I go so that at the end, I don't have so much to clean up. Also, if you keep hearing my air fryer in the background, I'm so sorry, guys. A girl's gotta eat, okay? I'm just keeping it real. And you already know my tutorials are like, Dollar Tree version. So hee hee, uh, don't leave me. Don't ever leave me because I'll find you. Um, okay, guys. So just cleaned up a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sanding block. Okay. It is a hundred grit. It is from Amazon. You can get them at Amazon, Lowe's, anywhere. And I'm just going to kind of sand the rim a little bit, get it cleaned up. You do not have to do this, guys. This is just me. But the most important part is to sand your glitter, like right where the vinyl meets the glitter, because I want to have a super duper duper smooth surface so that I can apply my vinyl strips without any bumps showing underneath because that doesn't look good. Um, I, it didn't take a lot of sanding because I got pretty good coverage with the first coat of epoxy. Okay, um, the epoxy that I'm using for this specific tumbler, I'm using Medium Viscosity by Counterculture. Um, it's one of my favorite tum It's one of my favorite epoxies. Um, I just like the runny viscosity. I think that it's easier to pop bubbles um, when it's thin like that. And I also think that the epoxy goes a long way because I'm able to spread it onto more more tumblers versus a thicker epoxy um, that you have to like really rub hard to spread it because it's a thicker consistency and then your layer ends up being thicker and it's harder to pop those micro bubbles so me personally i am a medium viscosity kind of girl so totally recommend it so anyway you guys just keep sanding your tumbler until it's smooth be careful not to scratch your vinyl because remember we only did one layer of epoxy then I'm gonna spray it with 91% alcohol just to remove any residue from sanding it um, and so that we can have a super clean surface to apply our vinyl strips so that we can apply, yeah, our vinyl strips basically. And I'm gonna use this really pretty holographic like color shifting vinyl. I got it at the vinyl people. I will link it, they're amazing. I actually, this was my first time purchasing from them and they shipped my order. So I feel like I placed my order and I had the vinyl within four days. It was really, really fast. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. And basically right now, you guys, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you are just gonna follow the natural shape of the diamond and place your vinyl. And then you wanna take your X-Acto knife and make those little slits, you know? Um, you can't really see here, but I always cut just under the rim so that when I go in with my epoxy, I can get really good coverage on, that, on, on the vinyl at the rim, okay? So you don't wanna make it flush. You wanna cut just underneath. Um, and then you are going to do the same thing for both sides and just make your little slits um, to where the both, both pieces of the vinyl meet so that you can create like that perfect diamond shape. And I feel like I can only explain this so much because I know you guys are gonna be able to just nail this part. So I'm just gonna show you just right here real quick how I make my little cuts just to make that, you know, diamond shape super sharp and super clean. And then I'm gonna speed this up and we're gonna 
put our final coat of epoxy. No, we're actually gonna put another coat of epoxy. I'm gonna show you how what I do to the bottom and then we're gonna seal it. Wow, I feel like this has gone really fast, but I don't know what you guys think because you guys are the ones that have been listening to my freaking chicken voice all morning. But anyway, love you. Oh, you want to see some real speed? Speedy Gonzalez. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have had coffee right before doing this voiceover because like, you know, this, some, this, this, <laughs> I'm a little hyper right now, and I feel like I'm already naturally hyper, so sorry guys, hee hee. Okay, now I'm gonna wipe my sausage fingers off, and then I'm gonna seal the vinyl with a coat of epoxy, okay? I'm doing a very thin coat um, so that I can pop those bubbles, and then I just painted the bottom with acrylic paint. I sped through this part because there's really nothing to it. I sealed it with one final coat of epoxy, and she was ready to go out and conquer the world and steal your men. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing my voice. I'm tired of hearing my own voice. So here's the final product. Here's a few little snapshots of me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on Tuesday for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.